1.29 a.m., Senator McCain enters the chamber. Title that sounds like Sigourney Weaver, Mitch McDonald's, is about to have a reality check in a few moments. Mr. Peters. Not President Bernie Sanders asked Gene Jaheen for some gum, knowing the whole place is going to be schooled. What McCain does next is shocking. As you can see, everyone responds respectfully and like an adult. Senator Todd Packer pulls out and puts a gun on his desk, while this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy clasp their hands together. Weird. Meanwhile, on the other side of the chamber, Senator Liz Kachiz gives a hearty thumbs up, while Elizabeth Warren starts clapping. House Baratheon shakes House Stark out of pure joy over the event. Even the government holograms start glitching out from McCain's decision. Senator Steve Hathaway has apparently fallen asleep. That's what you get when you have a meeting at 1.30 in the morning. Senator Sheeran Brown gets over his coke addiction. His diet coke addiction, that is. You know? McCain's dangerous play energized Bill Cassidy in ways he didn't think he could before. Though his head is dropped, his other happened to rise. Senate leader Judge Humor waves his hand around, demanding silence from those who opposed him. But it's too late. McCain has proclaimed himself to be the dominant one in this room. With his eyes on McCain's posterior, Mitch McDonald awakens his inner Travolta. He hates seeing him go, but loves to watch him leave. 